Hello, I'm Jeffrey Horning with Vancouver IM. Here today to interview AC Newman of the New Pornographers. He's the head man. He put together this event. It's all for charity. It's for the ALS Society and for the Urban Youth Native Association. Two great charities. They're playing for fun. They're playing for free. It's called the Stanley Park Singing Exhibition. They named it. It's hilarious. This is going to be a great day. Newman. I play in the New Pornographers. We're playing here at the Stanley Park singing exhibition at Malcolm Bowl. Yeah, it was going to be a regular show, and then we put all the bands together, and we found we had enough to do two days at Malcolm Bowl, and we gave it a name, and we began to call it a little mini festival. And we and we also thought we should do it for charity. I'm I'm really excited that, that we're supporting a, a great cause today. A concert and it's also for a good cause, which would be awesome. And I'm I'm here for the for the new pornographers. And I'm here for the new pornographers. I feel it's uh, very noble of them to raise money for charity. For a charity cause that's um, benefiting the Aboriginal youth in Vancouver, I believe. I think it's really awesome that bands would work together to use music to support. You know, an organization not for profits for themselves, but for benefit of others. The ALS Society, uh, or foundation, I forget which it is, uh, which hits pretty close to home because Catherine's mother, and who's my half-sister, ha- uh, she's been diagnosed with ALS recently. It feels a lot better, you know? Get out, you know, get out of the rock and roll rat race, forget about the business, and just do something for free. About which is more about just playing a show. Nico Case and New Pornographers and Destroyer are all, you know, connected together, obviously. And then we just thought, who else would we want to get? And we thought Andrew Bird. Then we asked Stevie Jackson from Bell and Sebastian because this queen we've known for years. Uh, Evaporators, of course, we've known for many, many years. A deer hoof, or we just asked because we thought they were really good. Um, who else is there on this show? Well, Black Mountain, we've known for years. I mean, before they were Black Mountain. We wanted to have a good combination of local Vancouver rock and, you know, people from out of town. Uh, I've been a New Pornographers fan for about three years, I'd say. They are our favorite local band. Then people started calling us a super group, even though none of us were really famous before. And now everybody has gotten a lot more popular, you know? And we kind of are a super group, but kind of after the fact, you know. Just in the same way the broken social scene are after the fact, you know. They've got Feist and we've got Nico Case and sometimes she's not with them and sometimes she's not with us. And can't really call it the uh, the new pornographer's method or something and, and recommend people do it, but it's what we do. I think I'm the only guy who's played every single new pornographer's show. It's an easy job. It's only thing I have to do is get on stage for an hour and a half a night or whatever. It's great to be back in Vancouver. I, my friends and family are here, so. I've lived in Brooklyn for about two and a half years, and even before that, I wasn't around here that much, so yeah, it's, it's amazing to come back. And just It's great to be back in Vancouver. I took a plane, I took a train. Ah, who cares? You always end up in the city. I said to call, look up for one. See just how the sun sets in the 